Hi everyone, let's find the antiderivatives of the following trigonometric function. But before that, let's recall the rules in antidifferentiation. Okay, so these are the rule in rules in antidifferentiation of trigonometric function. Okay, so we have the antiderivatives of sine x with respect to x, which is equal to negative cosine x plus c. Antiderivatives of cosine x with respect to x is equal to sine x plus c. Antiderivatives of secant squared x with respect to x is equal to tangent x plus c. Integral of cosecant squared x with respect to x is equal to negative cotangent squared x. Negative cotangent x plus c. Antiderivatives of secant x tangent x is secant x plus c. And antiderivatives of cosecant x cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant x plus c. Okay, so let's apply these rules in finding the antiderivatives of the following trigonometric function. Okay, number one. Okay, so the, the antiderivatives of 2 cosine x minus 3 secant x tangent x is equal. As with respect to x. So first thing to do, let's distribute the integral symbol that will become antiderivatives of 2 cosine x with respect to x minus antiderivatives of 3 secant x tangent x with respect to x. Okay, so since we have a coefficient, let's apply the rule that if we have a coefficient, we can write before the integral or symbol. So this will become 2 antiderivatives of cosine x with respect to x minus 3 antiderivatives of secant x tangent x with respect to x. So, so if we have a coefficient, we can write before the integral symbol. Then apply now the rules. So we have 2. Antiderivatives of cosine is sine. So we have sine x minus 3. Antiderivatives of secant x tangent x is secant x plus c. And this is now the answer. Next, number 2. What is the anti? Derivatives of cotangent squared x plus 2 tangent squared x minus 5. So let's distribute first the integral symbol. So the function will become antiderivatives of cotangent squared x with respect to x plus antiderivatives of 2 tangent squared x with respect to x minus antiderivatives of 5 with respect to, to x. Okay, next. We have a coefficient 2 and a constant 5. We can write that number before the anti or the integral symbol. So we have integral or antiderivatives of cotangent squared x with respect to x plus 2 antiderivatives of tangent squared x with respect to x minus 5 antiderivatives of dx. Then we can now apply the rules. The antiderivatives of cotangent squared x is wala. So wala dito. Walang cotangent squared. Wala. But walang tangent squared. So we are going to apply the uh, Pythagorean identities. So let's substitute cotangent squared by the identity which is equivalent to uh, co secant squared x minus 1 with respect to x plus 2 antiderivatives of the identity of tangent squared that is equivalent to secant squared minus 1 with respect to x minus 5, antiderivatives of dx. Okay, so let's okay, so let's find now the antiderivatives of this. So this will become antiderivatives of cosecant squared is 
um, negative cotangent x. Antiderivatives of negative 1 is negative x plus 2 times. Antiderivatives of secant squared is uh, tangent x minus antiderivatives of negative 1 is x minus 5 plus c. So, anti 5 antiderivatives of dx is negative 5x. Sorry. So, simplify to distribute this. This will become 2 tangent x minus 2x minus 5x plus c. So, we can combine negative x minus 2x minus 5x and that is negative 8x plus c. So, copy negative cotangent x plus 2 tangent x and this is the, the answer. Next, number 3. So, what is the antiderivatives of this trigonometric function 3 tangent x minus 2 cosine squared x over cosine x? So, we need to simplify first this before applying the antiderivatives rule. So, this will become 3 tangent x over cosine x minus 2 cosine squared x over cos x with respect to, to x. Okay. So, simplify. Okay. So, what we did is, okay, we make this rational expression into two rational expressions. So, this will become 3 tangent x over, oh, sorry. So, this will become 3 times 1 over cos x times tangent x minus 2. Okay, cancel. So, cosine x with respect to x. Okay. So, this will become 3. 1 over cosine is secant. So, minus 2 cosine x with respect to x. Okay, so we can now distribute the integral symbol and this will become antiderivatives of 3 secant x tangent x minus uh, with respect to x minus antiderivatives of 2 cosine x with respect to x. So since we have a coefficient, we can write that coefficient before the integral symbol and th this will become 3 antiderivatives of secant x tangent x with respect to x minus 2 antiderivatives of cosine x with respect to x. Okay, and then, okay, find out the antiderivative. So, this is equivalent to, that is equivalent to secant x minus 2 antiderivatives of cosine x is sine x plus c. And this is now the final answer. Number 3. What is the antiderivatives of sine x over cosine x? So, this is the same as antiderivatives of tangent x. Okay. So, uh, sorry, I think the given here is cosine squared x pala in my reference. Sorry, sorry. In my reference, this is sine x over cosine squared x. So, number 4. Okay, so we need to simplify this. And this will become antiderivatives of 1 over cosine x times sine x over cos x. Okay, then 1 over cosine is secant. Sine x over cosine x is tangent. 
Okay, so what is the antiderivatives of this function? So secant tangent x is, antiderivatives of secant x tangent x is secant x plus c. Okay, sorry, it's my mistake that this is squared. And last number 5, 3 cosine x over sine squared x. So we can write this as 3 times 1 over sine x times cosine x over sine x. So with respect to x. Okay, 1 over sine is cosecant. Cos, cosine over sine is cotangent with respect to x. So we have a coefficient 3. We can write 3 before the integral symbol. And this will become cosecant x minus cotangent I times, sorry, cotangent x with respect to x. So what is the integral of this? That is negative um, cosecant x plus c. So 3 times negative is negative 3. So this is the final answer. So I hope you learned something. Thank you and God bless to everyone.